So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, today I'm representing uh, Wilmington University. It is located in Newcastle, Delaware. <clears throat> the university was founded in 1968. It's a private university and it's a non-profit institution. As Wilmington is the only private university in the Delaware region that has a very affordable tuition course for the both UG and PG students. Uh, the university is located in Delaware and it is very near to the New York City, Washington and Pittsburgh. So if you have any students who are looking for the nearby locations uh, with minimum budget, you can always suggest them this university option. Also, the university uh, has 200 plus academic programs and uh, it is committed to a career focused education and provide a wide range of UG, PG, and certificate and ESL programs also. <clears throat> the student class size ratio is 17 is to 1. And uh, as I said, the, uh, this university is a very, has a very low tuition fee in a private institution in Delaware. I'm moving forward to the STEM programs. Uh, these are some popular STEM programs in Wilmington. We have behavioral science, biology, Business Analytics, NBN Business Analytics. Uh, this program, MS in Information Systems and Technology with uh, concentration in project management and web designing. It's a very popular program in Wilmington. Most celebrated program, I can say. Apart from that, we have MS in Information Technology, Project Management, uh, Bachelor's in Computer Science, and many more. So also I have mentioned uh, the website link over here so if you're looking for any other program you can just uh, go to the website and also you can check with me these are the uh, undergraduate programs we have uh, marketing related programs we have computer related uh, law related health sciences related we have nursing health science psychology uh, for law related we have um, law policy uh, and political science. <clears throat> we have also uh, management related uh, BS in management, finance, uh, accounting. Uh, these are the popular PG programs. We have, uh, I have mentioned only few programs over here. So as I said, MS in Information Systems and Technology, uh, it is a very popular program. And apart from that, we have nursing, clinical health, administration of justice, MBA, MS in accounting. Uh, this is the application process. Uh, you can directly go to the, you can directly go to the website and click on apply now here. And from here, you can start the application. <clears throat> then uh, create a new account. And once you complete the application, make sure to put this waiver code. So uh, it will automatically. delay to the university review uh, student to the university to review the student's application and uh, get to a decision so may you there we have lost you yes sir am i audible if we talk about the requirements uh, for UG, we do accept uh, ILTS of 5.5, uh, but uh, again, it depends on the, on the student's profile. So I have mentioned six. And for PG, we require 6.5. For uh, UG, TOEFL is required 60 and above. And for PG, TOEFL is required 80 and above. Duolingo, we do accept. So for UG, uh, 79 and above. And for PG, 100 and above. As I said, we uh, we have UG, PG, and ESL programs also. So uh, for ESL programs, PT is also acceptable. And uh, for all three, uh, requirements are the same, 46 and above. 
SAT is not required and GRE GMAT is also waived off. Other than this, uh, the basic requirements like yes, three year degree are acceptable. So if any student is from commerce background and looking for computer science or uh, cyber security, they can uh, apply with a three year degree. But best is all best is required. Yes, and um, apart from that, official transcripts are needed to be sent to the university. <clears throat> These are the application deadlines. Uh, for fall 24, we are still open till uh, 31st of July 24. Uh, for summer, we are open till 31st of March. And for the spring intake, next spring intake, uh, it is open till 30th of November. The tag time for uh, offer letter, it takes around four to six weeks uh, for the university to issue the decision. After the student submits all the required documents, as I said, once you complete the application, it is uh, necessary to upload all the documents. And uh, after the recommenders, uh, after the verification of, from the recommenders, it takes around four to six weeks uh, for the university to issue the offer letter. After the offer letter, uh, once the student submits uh, the financial documents, like the bank statement and affidavit, it takes around two to three weeks for the university to review it and issue the I-20. These are the financial document requirements. Uh, I have mentioned a very uh, general requirement for the bank statement. It is around 23,550. But final amount will be uh, reflected after the, after the student gets the scholarship. Please uh, ask a student to uh, provide a bank statement that should be at least six months old, no less than that. And uh, apart from that, the uh, affidavit of support. If the student has any uh, sponsor, they have to provide an affidavit of support. Apart from that, we require enrollment deposit, uh, that is $200 for UG and PG both. This is the tuition fee. So we charge tuition fee by credit. And the tuition fee usually increases a little each year, so especially in the fall intake. And it is very hard to give an exact uh, figure. But again, the current, uh, the currently the tuition fee is uh, as of now for UG it is 442 per credit, and approximately it goes around uh, 53,014 total. And for PG uh, it is 577 per credit, and uh, approximately this goes around 20,772 uh, 20, in total. Um, we do offer scholarship to the students, and due to our mission of keeping the tuition fee as affordable as possible for every student, we do not inflate our tuition and then give scholarship to just few people. Um, Student, uh, your student will be eligible for to avail for the scholarship after he gets the admit. So this is the scholarship uh, requirement criteria. GPA is only required 2.5, so it is a very minimum range. I have also mentioned the website link over here. So if you, uh, if you want to go to the website and check for this for your student is eligible for the scholarship, you can directly uh, check on the website or you can reach out to me. This is the application deadline for a uh, scholarship. If the student is applying for a scholarship for fall 24, they must apply before June 1st so they uh, so they can avail the scholarship till August 20, August 1st, and if, they are, if the student is applying for the spring intake, so they must apply before November 1st, so that they can uh, get the decision by mid-December. Document requirements, uh, we have basic document requirements like passport, pen, 12th mark sheet, bachelor's, consolidated, and semester wide mark sheet. Three LORs are requirements. Uh, the statement of purpose, resume, English proficiency, gap justification. If the student has any gap, uh, they have to provide a gap justification. 
and uh, if the student has any work experience, then it will be required. That's it from my side. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out uh, to me on my email or on my contact number. Thank you very much, Somia, for the nice presentation. I think uh, uh, you have done a really good job. And I move on to the my second session. Um, that is for the Sacramento. Uh, sorry, that is for the Lauras Technology University. So we'll start this session. And thank you very much, Somia, again for this one.